34 years ago today, 13 masterpieces worth half a billion dollars simply vanished from the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. But the man now focused on finding them believes the chances they'll be recovered are still good, in part because the tips keep coming in. Hmm. Good evening, I'm Paula Evan. And I'm David Wade. The FBI thinks most of the people involved in the crime have actually died. But as WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us, the museum is not giving up hope that the crime will be solved. 34 years of vacancy. We aren't talking real estate. We're talking about these frames. Their void has become a yearly reminder, a much talked about mystery. I've studied art theft history for a long time, and I know that masterpieces have a high rate of, the, of recovery, and I know that it's very often that they're recovered a generation after they're stolen. More than three decades ago, two men snuck into the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum, disguised as police officers, answering a distress call. The duo tied up two guards, were in the museum for 81 minutes, and made off with 13 works of art worth hundreds of millions of dollars. I'd be lying if I said it doesn't affect me, of course. You know, I walk by the empty frames every single day. Anthony Amore is the security director here now. He's been working with the FBI for 18 and a half years to solve the case. I believe that information is going to come or I'm going to get to the stuff first. But one way or the other, we're going to get the art back. Over the past year, they've had a couple hundred tips and phone calls. A lot of times they're theories. Um, occasionally we get a tip that's useful. Roughly 20 of these tip calls come from people at house showings or browsing Zillow. As part of the staging, they may see one of these famous stolen paintings, like Rembrandt's The Storm on the Sea of Galilee, or His Lady and Gentleman in Black. These are reprints placed on a wall to sell a home. They're not real, they're fakes, and just a dead end. I'm amazed yeah. that people notice you know, because Zillow, there's millions of listings on these things, and people go through and like, that's that missing Gardner painting. Since the theft in 1990, some key players in the heist have passed away, including security guard Richard Abbott, who died in February. Sometimes time is a contributor to the recovery, so I, I work in that realm of hope. As people pass away, those that know the information may feel less guilty or have fear about coming forward. I like to think of it as a, a haystack and we're taking the need, we're looking for these 13 needles and we're taking pieces of the haystack away. So ultimately we'll get to those 13 needles at the bottom. In Boston, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. Mm. If you think you have any information about the heist or the missing paintings, you're asked to call the Garden Museum directly. When you talk to FBI agents over the year, years, they do think they're in New England. Some yeah. barn, somebody's attic, they've got to be somewhere. It's amazing though because it's been 34 years, but it's still very much in the public eye. Mm -hmm. Books, documentaries, and movies, and people are obsessed with this, so you think maybe it will happen. Yeah, someday.